Hello. And now we are going to okay, this is very noisy. Hello. And now we are going to talk to you about my favorite top 10 artists of 2016. Yes, it's it's not because their album released this year but because it was my all-time favorite ever since the past years from probably 2004 I have no idea about my my favorite artist from 2004 06 so so let's start why is one or two on the list first thing they make really good music but their good music actually came from the two albums the one is the Zonkyo re reference and the one before that I can't remember but now my I think I think the photo shown to you already enough. That's it. That's it. I I don't like 35 triple XV. I don't like Jin CX Boku and their older albums. I just prefer these two instead. Why did I choose Metallica as my number nine favorite? That's a good question. Because if you have listened to all ten albums, uh, all are not bad. Oh, not bad. It's just that I usually prefer their their first two albums, Kill Em All. They are White the Lightning. The rest are just okay, okay. Hardwired is right behind the five albums that I like actually. But other than that, I pre I I actually like uh Metallica for some reason only for only during the Kill Em All and White the Lightning days. Why are all the artists you thought will, will come in? Exactly, because Razor X25 is actually me. I'm the one who produced the song. I find that, oh, it's not bad. Why why not I just put it in the list? But at least it went, it went into number 8. I have no idea why. I like, I like my own songs. It just feels weird. It, it's got the vibe that I'm not sure why I... I love it, but at least it was it's number eight because it's just it's just a debut single. I haven't I haven't thought of releasing a debut album yet. I'm not too sure. I'm just too busy on probably next year because I'm going to be I'm going to be working for for a while. So I I have no time to decide on how am I going to kind the song and everything so as for now we'll move on to the next one we'll talk about it another time why didn't i choose simple plan that everyone realizes why why i didn't choose a uh, simple plan into the list your simple plan i actually like simple plan until the 2000 2008 their self-titled album but after that the rest I actually liked since long ago then after that Vamush to Team Air so um, that, that's why I chose Reset Reset has the um, unlike Simple Plan Reset is more angrier more emo it's got this vibe where I'm able to enjoy Reset a lot more than Simple Plan for some reason. Well, if you think about it, that band just formed since uh, last year May because it it consists of uh, a band member, band members like Takeshi Osomi from El Garden and Scott Murphy from Alistair. They produce the song is actually not bad. It's it's good, very good. But unlike number three. This, their music is not as angry as as my number three. You'll find out what is my number three soon. Again, wh why are people getting so angry over why I chose My Chemical Romance as number five? It's not I don't like the the My Chemical Romance. Their their music is very good. It's just a little too overrated to such extent. It will take me time. For me, it gets it a bit. I have to move out, move out of uh, my chemical romance for for a while. And also, if if you notice their ten year anniversary Black Parade, the uh, Living with Ghosts album, it was it was just messy. It's it's just 
but it's okay that's just the unreleased version of the songs their songs are actually much better during uh, probably three cheers of sweet revenge probably the black parade is there and I, I like I brought you my bullets danger days are very hybrid hybridization but other than that my camera lens is actually okay exactly why you think my chemical romance lost to yellow card because they still maintain the 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 mis their music flow like sometimes when they probably a few of their albums are not so good because well I I actually don't like Live the Sale we'll be right back That's how I ended up here again. I don't like uh, Live the Cell because of the, uh, the music is just like very, very soft, very, very easy, this kind of music. Yeah, I, I don't like this kind of it. One for the kids is one of the examples where where it's considered pound. It's it's a good pound but it's just very weak. In in music wise it's very weak. Lights and Sounds could have been could have been one of my favorite albums but because of its it's slow and draggy and very very emo kind of vibe when you start listening to those kind of songs. It does. It just doesn't feel comfortable when you sing to Yellow Card. Other, other than that, the 9799 albums, probably before Ryan T, it wasn't. It, it was good. It's actually good, but they, the direction is so much different from what I actually enjoy. They are. They are like the new. They are like Razor's Edge for. For the US version, those like hardcore pump, trash pump, those like enjoy kind. Yeah, it's not that I don't like uh, Yellow Card. Yellow Card is really a good, good band. They sometimes they go down, then come back up, stable again, down and up, stable again. I mean, like that's what just that's just what uh, Yellow Card was meant to do. It it's it's a good band. They produce really good music. I'm very sad. That they have to dis they are going to disband in probably March or April, depending on their schedule. So yes, now you know why I said number six is softer. That's why I chose this band as one of my top three favorite bands of all of all time. It was number one since two one five. Now it went back to number three. I actually like all the albums in their artists. They are very unique in some way. I like when you're bored. But the but the problem with, with this album is it's less angry than it's just the music is loud. It's loud. It's strong. The vocals are less angry as compared to to probably. That's where the thing comes in. Unlike Al Garden, that they are like all the albums. Green Day has the vibe that's really angry. It's got a bit of the Al Garden feeling. It's just that I don't like the trilogy and warning. I I will rank high for for Green Day instead because they are considered the kings of punk rock. Yes, and they they went down slowly and steadily. Then after that, they come back up again, stable, just like Yellow Card. They are still standing strong. Yellow Card was standing strong until they are going to disband. Now, now Green Day is actually standing really strong. They are showing towards the the anger through through the politics, the society, probably much a lot of things. Music industry, and I and unlike Al Garden, Green Day songs albums it's hard for me to get sick as long as I don't include 
warning and tr the trilogy. The songs will, will be very enjoyable. It has the the vibe to tell me I'm, I'm I will continue listening more. Now you know that that is number two. You will be surprised that it's number two. It could have been number one, but because it's my choice, my number one is exactly. But the thing is, this band I I started liking all of their albums since probably January, January or February this year. And until now, I have not lost interest in in all of their songs, their albums, and everything. If you tell me to exclude probably all Killer No Fear, maybe I will enjoy more. But I don't, I don't think I will like to exclude all Killer No Fear. All Killer No Fear is actually a very good album. Yes, of course, it's mainstream success. It's not that. I don't like all killer no fear. It needs to be in in the list of songs that I'm listening. I'm supposed to listen. But unlike Green Day, I have not disliked and every single album in Song for One. And probably my most favorite album for for Song for One could be the the angry the metal side. If, if you exclude uh Underclass Hero and the albums before Does This Look Impacted All the albums I uh, show favour in it So I guess that's it That's all for the list For 2016 So I'm going to see you guys on 2017 I guess You are not going to believe How much 2016 is the best year of all time You are not going to believe Everyone says 2016 sucks 2016 is the worst year. I hope 2017 is the best. No, not for me. Not for some people who think it's the best. And to some people who will find that ah, 2016 is another year. It's still it's going to be the same as what you think. Well, yeah, of course, to some people. Well, I guess that's all for 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 this video. I think you you guys can do whatever you want. Listen more music. Music is love. Music is life. Depends on which, what kind of music you like. I like I like probably alternative metal like yeah like the number one you you saw. So anyways, enjoy your own music. This is my own. This is the list that I only like. So happy 2017! Yay! Okay, see you around.